So I think what's really interesting is, you know, we saw from the presentation from BMY Mellon that we're going into a period of rapid uncertainty. Clients want to understand between the variation of interest rates, but also the wide standard deviation of products to choose from, and this move to internet generational wealth. That means there's a huge opportunity, but also a huge risk of being able to advise clients more effectively. And what we talked about is one of the biggest burdens for advisors to advise clients is actually the time that they have to advise clients, <laughs> right? So in the last Capgemini World Wealth Report, it was found that only 9% of a client advisor's time is actually spent servicing client. 67% of that time is on administrative tasks, including onboarding. So if we can use technology much more efficiently to make those advisors much more efficient, they can better serve their clients, also better for our society as well. And maybe one last link is the power of AI, right? I think that what was shared was well, AI now has really come in the last 12 months to be a reality. And whether or not it is going to help us or whether or not we need to tax it in the future, what it is doing right now is being used to be able to augment the advisor. So if you look at the amount of manual again, activity and data that you need to search using AI and ChatGPT and other activities to be able to really harness that data much more effectively and provide that seamlessly to, to the advisor. And we see that with our solution as well. So obviously from a client perspective, there's a bit of concern, is a recession happening? Are we in a recession? Is it a technical recession? And to do that, the need to be able to outreach to your clients and to be able to advise them during this time is even more important. So we see a lot of focus on both harnessing data to be able to provide recommendations more intelligently. We also see the desire for more digital outreach. So the ability to send information to clients and have them respond uh, digitally as well. And that is going now across the wealth continuum. So not only for the ultra high network clients, but using the same platforms to service maybe lower segments as well. And to be able to use some of that, you know, machine learning AI capability to really harness up research and content that is relevant to the client as well and be able to provide that, that right recommendation. And maybe one final note is, is that even during COVID, we saw any in any uncertain situation, if an advisor isn't communicating with their client, I think McKinsey did a study that 30% of advisors did not reach out to their clients in the first six months of COVID to advise them. It means the risk of losing clients is very high. If you look at the external world with consolidation right now of, of players, we see that risk even higher right now. Again, Capgemini's report shared that over 50% of clients will leave their wealth manager in the next 12 months or would not recommend, or 20% would not recommend their wealth manager to their friends. And that means there's an opportunity, but there's also a threat in these uncertain times to be able to be as uh, in touch with your clients through all different channels that you can to remain in contact and advise them effectively. And I think clients, uh, banks are looking at scaling and reducing the ability of the cost to service their clients. But you can really use data effectively, not just for regulatory activities, which we've seen in the past, but really to improve client servicing and to see that that investment drives real value into client retention and in terms of client um, adoption and recommendations as well. So this Arena International event is always a real highlight. By the way, the location is always really stunning and you're able to really get a great audience together. And I think already the agenda in terms of topics, looking at the economy, looking at how technology can drive more efficiency and more advisor adoption, more client retention as well. And then also looking at the impact of ESG, looking at the impact of impact investing as well. I think that the topics and the agenda continue to be very varied and continue to be very complementary. And so I've already heard echoes in the hallway and the coffee shops around how useful it is to have this forum to bring together advisors, those who are running digital platforms, those who are from technology companies who are innovating around some of these new topics that we're addressing as well, and how that is in the end helping our industry and helping the end client, which is the most important. So really great to be here and great to hear some of the latest uh, seen and heard. We, we do see consolidation coming uh, as well, not just Credit Suisse and UBS, by the way, but others. And I think this gives us an opportunity for us to understand those trends, learn from each other in terms of best practices and identify how we actually mitigate the risks coming up in the next 12 months.